Hello, welcome to another episode of Easy Maths Lessons. In today's episode, we are going to look at how to express one number as a percentage of another. Now, if I look at the very first example, it says express 18 as a percentage of 50. Now, in simple terms, that means if you've done a test and you got 18 marks out of a total of 50, then it's 18 correct out of 50. And what that is as a percentage. So I'm going to show you two methods. So first the non-calculator method and then the calculator method. So in the non-calculator method, I need to try and find um, a denominator that is equal to 100. So if this one is 50, if I times both sides by 2, then my denominator will be out of 100. So and we know from previous experience that anything out of 100 is always a percentage. So 36 out of 100 is a percentage, so 36%. On a calculator, however, much easier. All I have to do is 18 divide by 50. That gives me 0.36. But because I want a percentage, I need to times by 100. So 36%. Easy, huh? Okay. Let's look at another example. This time, you have to express 13 as a percentage of 25. So with the non-calculator method, I need to make my denominator out of 100. So 25 into 100, well, that means I need to times it by 4. So 13 times by 4, 52, and 25 times by 4 is 100, and therefore 52%. Calculator even easier. 13 divided by 25 is 0 0.52. Times it by 100 and I get 52%. Okay, what if, well, my denominator does not actually, is not actually a factor of 100. What do I do? So in this case, I've got 15. And I can just do a simple simple division sum. So 15 goes into 9, uh, cannot go into 9, so I need to put a 0 on top with a decimal point. Now, if I put a decimal point here at the top, I must put a decimal point with a 0 at the bottom. So 15 goes into 90 this time, and it goes into 96 times. So in other words, 0 0.6 times 100 which is 60%. Calculator method, far easier. 9 divided by 15, 0 0.6, times it by 100, I'll get 60%. Okay, your turn. I've given you loads of questions. The first one is a non-calculator method. Try and do it without a calculator. The second one you can do it with a calculator, and then the last one you can do with any method, but be careful because there's some catches in there. All right, press pause, have a go at it, and then press play when you're ready. All right, let's look at the very first two questions. Answer for the first one is 30%. Answer for the second one is 50%. For the second set of questions, it was just a calculator method, so pretty straightforward. One, eight divided by 24 times by 100, but be careful because this one was a recurring, so I will have a decimal at the end and I've rounded it to one decimal place. And on this one, I've got 12.5%. Here's the catch. This method here, or this, this unit here is in centimetres. This unit here is in metres, and in order for you to do the calculation, both must be the same units, so you need to do a conversion first. I decided to change my 5 metres into 500 centimetres, and therefore 120 divided by 500, 0 0.24 times by 100, which is 24%. And uh, this one, again, I've got pence here, I've got pounds here, so what I've done is just made them all into pence. So 60 divided by 300, which is 0 0.2 times by 100, which is 20%. Give me a thumbs up if you got them right. Leave me a comment. Uh, 
down in the comment box. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Easy Maths Lessons. You can follow me on Facebook, Easy Maths Lessons. Uh, there's a group and a page, so you can join both. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.